Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be continuing with our CSV module. Uh, it, with, And we just learned how to read a CSV uh, Excel file, comma separated values. Now we're going to learn um, how to write to it. In the next two videos, we're going to break it up. I'm going to show you two, two, ways, two ways to do it. One way uh, just writes all the information, and then in another way you can kind of chop it up because, like we did last time, there was information in the spreadsheet that we didn't really care about. So we are going to get on that. So all right, we're just going to pick this up. And if you didn't watch yesterday's video, uh, go back and watch that and this makes a little bit more sense. So, all right, let's get rid of this. So, all right, we are using all our skills that we've used before. So if there's anything on here that you don't recognize, if you're new here, um, everything that I'm always working on, I've always done a video before. So stop, back out to my channel, search anything you don't quite get, come back, play catch up. Because the whole idea about this is everything's searchable. So, all right. Thanks for being here. Thanks for uh, clicking subscribe and the notification bell. But, all right. What we're going to be doing right now is working on writer. So, we need... All right. So, we have our context manager here with our with open file. And as we've learned before, we can... Because what we're going to do is we're going to pull this down then we're going to write it to a new file and we're just going to <coughs> excuse me open up another excuse me generate another context manager and this is completely legal in python and what we are wanting to do is the first go around is we're just going to copy all the information and be able to test that we can write it to a new file so all right simple symbol.csv then write as file oops what I forget there we go so all right now let's I'm getting ahead of myself so all right let's just look and see so we have our dir on a CSV so all right we are looking at writer so now, now let's run help on CSV dot writer and see what comes up. So all right, this is pretty, pretty, pretty cut and dry, just like what we did last time with our reader. So all right, let's see where we are. Let me get my cursor back in the right place. So we're gonna create our writer object CSV writer with our with our file right here now this is where we put in all our information so we're going to be looping through our information and we're pulling it from our reader so this isn't quite as sophisticated and as complicated as what we did last time or what we're going to do next time but we want to make sure we understand this. So all this is, is we're looping. We pulled this down and this is why we are opening our, con we have a context manager for reading because this is where we're gonna pull it from because we want this file and we're just gonna basically copy this file and move it to another one. That's where we're doing it first because we're gonna, next video we are going to do it and chop it up because right now this is going to write the whole write the entire content and really all we want are the symbols and the company name so all right in reader then writer and let's look at this so let's see what all this is important Writer, did I spell it right? No, like I said a couple of videos ago, this is not. This is not a spelling class. 
never said it was so all right and oh shoot there we go it's not going to show but all right uh writer then the method that we are interested in actually let's run uh here we go right there writer rows so this is how we do it forgot i already pulled it down so writer and writer rows so writer write row not writer rows row and then line which is our variable and this file is going to get created so let's all my indentations are right let's run it and see if I did everything I was supposed to now go to your directory where you have your Python script saved and mine is right here and we just save this as symbol so I scroll down symbol and here we go ooh that's not that pretty oh you can't see all that that's not all that pretty yet our other file was nice and neat so there's one thing that I left out I like to do it that way so you can see see how that one's all nice and pretty well I intentionally left out a very important piece it automatically kind of like the print that we have to do something to suppress the new line if you don't know what I mean about that I have a thing on print about how to suppress a new line so all right and this is absolutely fine let's make sure I closed it okay I did you can just rerun this again and it'll write over it so let's pull this back up symbol and lo and behold now look how nice and neat this is so now we know how to pull from a file right to another file let's say you wanted a copy of it you wanted to make sure that when you were gonna mess with it you you uh, you knew that you didn't wanna you wanted a backup well now you know how to do that so so cool so last video we learned how to uh, read a CSV now we just learned how to write now next video what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to write but only a portion of a reader file so all right, I can't tell you guys thanks enough for watching uh, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and most important that notification bell please leave any comments questions or my absolute favorite any video requests and I'll get right to them thanks guys and we'll see you next time